The research project that I've undertaken um, during my fellowship year at the CSWR uh, is really sort of galvanized around the question, what is the proper role of transcendent experiences in society's transformation. So obviously the Transcendence and Transformation Research Initiative is, is well suited to house such a, a project as, as might be animated by this line of inquiry. So I'm interested in the, the, the religious dimension of, of uh, uh, American environmentalism. Now, it's, of course, uh, a uniqueness of, of American life that religious experiences play such, uh, we'll say, an outsized role um, in the body politic and the changes it undergoes. You know, American political movements um, are especially susceptible to religion's influence, the civil rights movement perhaps being the readiest example. Um, today, though, um, no political movement harnesses the power of religious experience more and more often, I think, um, than the American environmental movement. So despite the claims of uh, historians that environmentalism is a province of, of secularism, we see evidence all throughout American environmentalism's history of religious experience playing a really key role in defining the movement's values, um, in designating its, its interests, um, determining its political pursuits. The research I'm pursuing this year at the CSWR will seek to illustrate how transcendent experiences, you know, far from being immune to scrutiny, um, can be located within the nexus of, of beliefs and commitments and cultural historical circumstances that give rise to transcendent experiences in the first place. So over the course of this year, um, I'll be developing, uh, seeking to develop a constructive account um, that will help to demonstrate how the private contents revealed through transcendent experience can't be separated from the public search for justification. Um, I want to show specifically that truth claims gained from transcendent experience that play important parts in society's transformation can be understood as as representing the habits of practical reasoning that are grounded in, in discursive practice, our, our, our sharing concepts with one another, which themselves, the concepts that is, are, are socially constructed. They're, they're sort of contingent artifacts of our, of our place and experience in history. Um, my goal is to put forward a, a practical method for testing the truth claims of transcendent experience. And that's a means through which we might reasonably hold the insights engendered by those experiences accountable in the public sphere. This question of how our, how our personal experiences impact our, our, our participation in, um, uh, you know, the exchange of reasons and our participation uh, in um, values talk, um, our, our consideration of alternative viewpoints, um, you know, this, this larger question of how our own religious identities play a part um, in our, our, our political engagement. Um, I, think it, I think it has implications for, for, for all of those questions. Pedagogically speaking, though, um, you know, to, to, to be able to give students um, insight and the tools to, to reflect on, um, you know, the, the, the moral benefits and potential shortcomings of transcendent experience um, to, to be critical of, of, of those experiences as they either positively or negatively redound to society's transformation, I think could go a long way in the classroom and, and would be a real benefit uh, to students as they, as they learn about, um, you know, political movements, whether it be uh, the civil rights movement or otherwise the American, American environmentalism. I think the CSWR um, is, a, is a really ideal place to, to take up this work in, in large part because uh, of the community of conversation that the center is, is already established going back decades, right? So I like to see my work as, as continuing in this strain, um, seeking to give the field of religion and ecology sort of further definition through the questions that I'm asking and the methods I'm, I'm seeking to, to both uh, devise and and deploy. Um, of course, my my questions are possible because of the outsized role the CSWR has already had in launching and and giving shape to the conversations in which 
uh, I'll be participating over the next year.